A big mistake that a lot of executives make when they're starting out in their board career is they approach their super high profile contacts too early in the process before they've got the runs on the board. Now we've all got connections in the board director market. Some of us will have more than others, but you know, a lot of my clients will have, you know, relationships with the chairman and the non-executive directors on the board. They might even have relationships with the company secretary or the CEO in the organization and it's often a big mistake to you know approach those really valuable connections before you've got runs on the board and often what I find is people are approaching their most valuable connections and trying to use them almost like a career mentor oh well what's your advice you know what you know how do I get on a board you know how do I get my first board seat and it's a huge missed opportunity to have wasted that incredible connection uh, who might be able to help you in your board director career, but using them at the wrong time. It's much more effective to go to those super high profile connections when you have some runs on the board, when you've done the hard yards, when you've done the education, when you've secured your first, second and third board appointments, and then approach those super high profile connections. You'll find that those high profile connections are then able to do more for you they're able to connect you to the right people they're able to open the doors for you Uh, they might be able to refer you to a board director opportunity but in the early days the best they can offer you is typically some advice and you know I think it's a huge missed opportunity to use those valuable connections just for general advice someone trying to be polite to you because they know you Um, yes they might afford you a coffee but you know a coffee meeting but is that really helping you in your board director career to be told the basics to be told you need to go and get some runs on the board you need to go and do this course you need to go and do this this is the homework you should be doing as a board director this is what you need to do in your own time don't waste your valuable connections uh, on uh, those sort of, uh, you know, sort of early stage conversations, trying to formulate your thoughts, trying to get some runs on the board. It's much better to keep your powder dry and approach those really valuable connections when you've got your act all together and you've got some great things to go and talk to that individual about. You've secured some board appointments, you've proved that you can secure board appointments and you can add value in the boardroom. That's the perfect time to go and talk to those really valuable high profile connections.